just started getting a bed frame in. How exciting. Look at that. Gonna have our bed right there. Gonna have our oven right there. Got our kitchen going. Got the upper cabinets. Those are looking good. Wow, super stoked on that. That looks great. And yeah, that's where we're at. I'm Jamie and this is Dan. We're two frugal dreamers trying to turn this 1997 International Fire Crew Transport Bus into the mobile tiny home of our dreams. And you've got a front row seat to all the highs, lows, and moments in between on this wild ride we call bus life. All right, the water tank is almost 26 inches. Let's see. Where does that fall in here? From the two by four in the back to the front of the bed is about 37 inches right there. We framed the bed and couch with two by fours and pocket holes to create a strong foundation. And we secured all the framing in place by bolting it to the metal studs that originally attached the bus seats to the walls. We are making the bedside storage box. So we're just gonna do something simple. We're gonna do a long piece that goes across, two legs that stick out. Those are gonna just sort of maybe either go into the wall. They could just sit on the wall. We'll have a leg in the corner going down and that will rest on the bed. The other side will rest on the metal box. That'll support the box itself. And theoretically, might not even need to mount the ends to the wall. Right now, we're gonna cut this. Uh, thumb always out of the way. I like to wrap mine around the bottom. Never touch a blade while it's moving. I like to wait till it's pretty much fully stopped before I even do anything, because why risk it? This is the bed piece. So this will make up the side bed. It'll be like this. Should be really, really steady. The bed is like 79, 80 inches. It's about 90, almost 91 inches in some spots, down to 89 and three fourths in some spots. Where the board is going, it's roughly 89 and three fourths inches. So that's what we're gonna do. We have a board that goes all the way across. So we need two legs to go into it. Uh, that board is an inch and a half thick. It means we need two pieces that are eight inches and uh, a quarter, eight and a quarter. So let's make the legs. Alrighty, so we're using the scrap pieces. Next up, we need to do some pocket hole work. Whoops, forgot to record that, so show you the other side as well. So if you ever don't have a clamp, you can use your palm. Just really hold it down, put your weight on it, turn the drill up to speed two. Pocket hole. I ended up buying a new one of these. They fucking suck. This is the old one. Comes with this built-in tail extension you can use to set different wood things. This one, you have to calculate every single time. They like made it as hard as possible for the cheap version so that you use the expensive uh, pull down one. It's really, really a shame. There's one leg that'll go like on there. That'll connect to the wall. We'll have a nice little storage box.
we need two legs that are roughly 19 inches tall. So we've got one, let's find another. It's a really, really good chance these are not the same heights. Oh, uh, we got pretty darn close though. I'd consider that a successful saw. Next up, we need to do the pocket holes on these as well. So I'll explain my reasoning for putting pocket holes on the bottom or on the wall side. If I end up just chopping these off and putting a bar behind it, making it a true sort of box, then uh, sort of no harm, no foul. Two, I can take a drill bit, I can go through the pocket hole into the wall, then I can run a screw in there. Wouldn't be amazing, but you know, it'd be something. Would keep it from like flopping around too much. Those are the legs, done. All right, so next up, we need to actually put the legs onto the bar. So this is the bottom. This is the design that I sort of landed on. It worked out pretty well. And this will be flush against the wall. There should be about an inch of space on top of it to allow room for any hinges and stuff. And it's nice and steady. The uh, two by four supports both both ends of the wood. So there's no, there's no shear force on two by fours in this case. And this will be our, our whole storage area. So probably Convert this side into a laundry hamper. The water tank will take up about most of this. So I'll probably have a divider by the water tank. All right? Tell me what you uh, what you think. Whoa! Wow! Son of a bee. I cut the wrong side off. Make sure to put your hand directly in front of the blade. It's always the best. Fingers too, you know, you really want those like, you know, your thumb should be right there. That's a good spot for it. You gotta, you gotta hold the wood nice and steady.